zoom in now. If I can zoom in now, but he's blocking me. Okay, okay. If I bend down, you're not going to worry. Uh, bend down, bend down, bend down. Bend down. Bend down. Bend down. Free to 
call us. Call me as a person, also reach me as a government. I want we. You can only get it better with we. Let me on this note. And every one of you, both the people on my side and the people on the other side, we will all get there together as one. To our prince, to him, take heart. It will happen one day, and it has happened. It is also a great moment that you are the one seeing your father for eternity. So don't let your heart not be too heavy because you have your people around you to make you fulfill this day. So let me on this note thank every one of you again and assure you of our continuous support and the glory of God who will not fail rivers people. God bless you all. Speech by His Excellency. What we are doing today is to let the world know not what you hear in the radio or what you see on the, your screen, the television. River State is not safe, there is crisis. River State is safe and secure for anybody anywhere to come and invest. Your investment is safe in our hands. I want to thank the MD of TAP Global Africa, who didn't have any fear, even in the face of what we are, we are navigating. He didn't shake. When I called him, I hope this is our radio. He said no. I shouldn't be worried that he's coming to continue with the arrangement. So I'm happy that he has that confidence in this government. For our people, I want to assure you, our governance has nothing to do with fighting anybody. Our governance is to take care and defend our people. I can I can assure you here that this is the beginning of our peace to the people of the world. It is not service to big men like me. It is service to the people, those poor people, those low-income earners. That is the people we want to stand with and we are standing with them from today. I want to also say This facility, once it commences and gets to the stage of allotment, it will go to those rightful people. And not one big man to allocate to his own family. It will be transparent so that the needed people will assess it and benefit from it. So let me thank every one of you that have come today to be part of this issue. It is important to be part of history, and moreover, positive history. The history we are making today is history of assurance that we stand with our people, we will continue to protect our people, we will continue to provide for our people. Let me, on this note, invite our leaders, the MD of South of Africa, the groundbreaking slope, proud of, so that our people will know that we are serious. You know, and I don't believe in you coming to do this occasion. I want to assure you that we are going to come to commission the first phase of it in the next couple of months and to show our commitment and to show our seriousness to this project. Let me thank everyone of you. More especially, the good people of the United States are shown by this 
Provision of adequate and affordable housing is a fundamental necessity and this project will help fulfill the dreams of many families, creating a sense of security and pride in their own homes. I would like to express my deepest gratitude to His Excellency Sasa Milai Fubara for his unwavering confidence in tough Africa Global and price-wise house, house Nigeria. This project will create a thriving and inclusive communities for all to live in the river state. Indeed, we are actually building a brighter future for our river state. Those are musical people that you don't know them. You know that song? Please, I like that song. Where he said, what he thought was impossible, he made possible. Please, let me have that song, if you know it. You don't know it. People don't go to church. <laughs> Yeah, that is, that, that is the wrong one. Jesus, yeah. Thank you. You have done it again. Jesus, yeah. Thank you. In a special way, what was impossible, you made possible. Jesus, yeah. Please. I want it more. Jesus, yeah. You have done it again. Jesus, yeah, in a special way, what was impossible, you made possible, Jesus, yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I believe that the Commissioner for Health did a very excellent job by taking us through the memory lane. It won't be proper for me to start talking about the history of this project. But let me put it this way. We came, we saw, and we are opening. Why are we doing it? Our promise to our people is that whatever it will cost us, whatever it will take, the interests of our people remain paramount. We cannot talk about development, we can't talk about governance if we don't have quality health services. And this particular facility is fulfilling that purpose as what as one of the promises we made to our people so i want to say it's not just standing here to commend standing here to use all the medical terms which i don't even understand as they're using it <laughs> but to say that our government is committed to the welfare and interest of our people. Para, 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 para. Nothing, and I repeat, nothing will make us deviate from that course. Let me also say it is not different from the agenda of Mr. President, the new hope agenda. Our people are hopeless. Our people feel we have gotten to the point where we have no nothing to expect but the government of today both in this state and the federal is giving our people a new hope 
So I want to say, I promise our dear state, all our supporters, we are going to be firm. We are going to, even in our calm nature, follow our course to the end. It's important to also add this. For the medical officers that are going to use this facility, treat it as your own. It shouldn't be seen as it's government property, it's government facility. You have narrated the usefulness of this facility. Ensure that you maintain it. Ensure that it's put to all the needed use. Ensure that our people also get the required services at a reasonable cost. That is where and the purpose of governance. Governance is making the people happy. And it's our duty to make sure that every opportunity that comes our way, we put smiles in the faces of our people. I want to thank every one of you for your support. It's unmeasurable. I feel it even when I sleep. Yes, sir. And it gives me extra energy. When I come out, I come out strong. Because I have the people. So let me, let me, let me, gentlemen, it's okay. Let me, at this point, invite our leaders to join me to open. I will not use the word commission because we have done it one time before. But to open this facility to the good of our dear River State. Your experience, your knowledge in the job, it shows that uh, at this particular time in our dear state, when security is not really has been propelled, I need to say that, but maybe because of mismanagement of a particular situation, we'll find ourselves in this kind of quagma. We believe that you're coming in, not just as a new person, but somebody who already understands River State is going to be another advantage for us as a government. I want you to be professional. That is the only request I want to make. As a government, we will give you all the necessary support to do your job professionally. I'm saying this because even if you decide to go the other way, one day you'll be asked to give account of your deed in the state. Not just this state, any other place. So I advise you, as a gentleman, a professional, help us to solve our problem. On our part, we'll give you the necessary support. I am for all. I am not for any particular person. My interest is the peace and development of our dear state. Today, I'm sitting here. Tomorrow, I might not be here. But what is important is the record and the legacies we are going to leave behind. So let me thank you again, because I know you came with all your heart. I know you're here to give service to your country. The Inspector General wouldn't have sent you here if he doesn't have that confidence in your capacity. 
you coming here today to start working here is also to help us support the dream and aspiration of our president who has said that he tagged his own renew hope. It is only when we work together we start achieving, conquering from our, our states that it now extends to the country. So I want to appeal to you, appeal to your team, work together. The government have a listening ear. The government will not request for anything that is abnormal. The only thing government will request, fight crime, just feeling, be fair to all, and we'll continue to give you our support. It is with great honor and humility that I stand or rather, I sit before you today as the newly appointed Commissioner of Police for the esteemed River State. I am deeply grateful to His Excellency Governor Similai Fubara for extending a warm reception and granting me this opportunity to serve and protect the good people of this great state. First and foremost, I would like to acknowledge the significant security challenges that River State faces. I am fully aware of the complexity and gravity of the situation at hand. Having served in the state as the DPO Elimbu, DPO Lenwo, Commander SAS, Commander Anti Kidnapping, and Assistant Commissioner of Police in charge of the State Criminal Investigation Department, State CID. However, I believe that with our collective efforts and unwavering commitment to collaboration, we can overcome these challenges and create a safer environment for all residents. As I assume this esteemed position, I bring with me a set of strategies aimed at actively addressing and resolving crimes within our jurisdiction. We will adopt a proactive approach to policing, one that emphasizes intelligence and foresight, enabling us to identify potential threats before they materialize. Through enhanced surveillance, intelligence gathering, and efficient resource allocation, we will strive to stay one step ahead of criminal elements. Equally important is the principle of policing with consent. We recognize the importance of fostering positive relationship with the community we serve. Effective policing can only be achieved through mutual trust and understanding. I am committed to establishing open lines of communication and engaging with the residents of River State, including the youth, women, and all other stakeholders. Their insight, perspective, and active participation will be invaluable in our mission to maintain law and order. Your Excellency, sir, I humbly beseech your cooperation and support as we embark on this journey together. Your guidance and leadership will be instrumental in shaping the direction of our efforts. I am confident that with your assistance, we can forge strong partnership between law enforcement agencies government institutions, and the community at large. By working hand in hand, we can build a formidable force against crime, ensuring the safety and security of every resident. In conclusion, Your Excellency, I wish to express my deep gratitude to His Excellency the Governor, Simla Ifubara, and the Inspector General of Police, IGP Oluka Ode, Ade Olu, Egbetokun, PhD, MPM, for entrusting me with this crucial responsibility, I assure you, sir, that I will devote myself wholeheartedly to the task at hand. Together, we can create an environment where our people can live, work, and thrive without fear. Let us embark on this journey of friendly and effective policing, united and resolute for the betterment of River State. Thank you, sir.